open your cameras those who are able to open the cameras please do so okay Choose the correct option in italics. If you study hard, you will pass your exam. Second one, if you don't go to school today, your teacher will be angry or your teacher is angry. Which one? Will be angry. Your teacher? Will be angry. Will be angry. Your teacher will be angry. She'll be very happy if her parents will buy a bike, if her parents buy her a bike. Buy her. She'll be very happy. Result close. Here we have to use if close. If her parents buy, buy her a bike. Fourth one. If we will go or if we go to the cinema tomorrow, we'll take Rob with us. What is the answer? If go. we if we go or we'll go. 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 If we go to the cinema tomorrow, we'll take Rob with us. Girls speak. We'll get another drink or we get another drink if we are still thirsty later. Huh? We will get to, we get. Speak, speak. We will, get. we will get another drink if we are still thirsty. Result close, future tense. Sixth one. If we do our homework tonight, we won't have or we don't have to do it at the weekend. <clears throat> we want or we don't? We want. we want. We want. Future, we will not. We won't have to do it at the weekend. Now, second one. Write first conditional questions. What you drink if you be thirsty this evening? What will you drink if you are, be verb, if you are thirsty this evening? What will you drink if you are thirsty this evening? Second one, what you do if it be sunny tomorrow? I need the answer from Gagani. For the second one. Gagani, are you here? What will you uh, do if it be sunny tomorrow? If it be. B means B verb. If it, anyone? Is. Is. What will you do if it is sunny tomorrow? What will you do if it is sunny tomorrow? Third one. What your parents do if you pass all your exams? Chehani. How will you feel if you eat? No, Jihani, third one, third one. What will you parents do if you pass all your exams? Very good. What will your parents do if you pass all your exams? Fourth one. How do you feel if you eat too much chocolate? A kill. Akhil, can you give me the answer for the fourth one? How you feel if you eat too much chocolate? How will you feel? How will you feel if you eat too much chocolate? Fifth one, will you go if it rain this weekend? Um, Naduni, can you give me the answer? 
Where will you go if it is rain this weekend? Where will you go if it rains? If it rains this weekend. Last one. Who you ask if you need help with your homework? Um, Sarasi. Who will you ask if you need help with your homework? Who will you ask if you need help with your homework? Very good. You all are very good. Now, let's come to this part. Complete the words with some, any, every, or no. The first one is given. Hello. Is there anybody here? Second one. I bought Dave. Ah. <clears throat> something. Anything, everything or nothing? Something. Something. I bought Dave something great. Third one. We looked blank where? We looked blank where? Somewhere, anywhere, everywhere. But we mm -hmm. couldn't find our car. But we couldn't find our car. Everywhere. Mm -hmm everywhere we found sorry we looked everywhere but we couldn't find our car next one we found dave we found dave we found dave somewhere Everybody loves good food. Nobody loves good food. Anybody or uh, somebody? What is the answer? Everybody. Everybody. Okay. Uh, here some, uh, there is a student called Amila, but in my um, register, there is no such name. Can you please change your name, Puta? Or do I don't know? There is one student called Amila, but I don't have such name in my register. I need to give you attendance. Can you please tell me your name? Or oh, someone else? Do you all know who that is? Okay, Hasabi. Yeah, okay. Yes, let's come to come back to this one. Fifth one. Where did you go last night? Blank. Where? I stayed in and watched TV. So what is the answer? Nowhere. 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 Go ahead. Last one, sorry, sixth one. Blank, body failed the test. The whole class passed. Answer? Nobody. Nobody. Nobody, Nobody failed the test. Kaurut failed when in a test taker. Mulupantima pass. I don't want blank thing to eat. Thank you. Something? I don't want anything. anything. I don't want anything to eat. Thank you. Last one, we want to go on holiday, blank, where hot and sunny this year. Somewhere. Somewhere, very good. We need to go on holiday somewhere hot. Kohe hari, yam tenak, rasni tenakate unknown. Now, let's complete the crosswords. You wear a shoe on this part of the body. Quickly. You wear a shoe on this part of the body. Don't know? Food. 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 You smell things with this. 
nose nose you use this to pick things up and write hand hand it's behind you back back your hand is on the end of this arm arm then the top part of your body head head down you put food in here when you eat no mouth this is where the food go oh no no it's not mouth right ah oh, yeah mouth this is where the food goes when it is inside you what is it stomach ah huh? stomach you have 10 of these on your hands Ten of finger. fingers. Fingers. This is between your body and your head. Neck. 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 Very good. You use these to see. Eyes. Eyes. Good. Tilosha is not here, right? And uh, Chamatka. Chamatka Karunathi Lakhi is not here. No. Yeah. Let's go to the next part. Write the past participles of these verbs quickly. Buy. Past participle of buy. Bought. Bought. B o u g h t. Read. 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 But the spelling is the same. R e a d. My dear. Eat. Eaten. Eaten. Go. Gone. Gone. Now Mike is going on a camping trip. Look at the list of things he has and he hasn't done. And write sentences. You can see there are ticks and cross marks. So if it is a cross mark, you have to use hasn't, and if it is a cross, you have to use has. I will call. Your names. You need to give me answers. First one is given. He's bought the uh, train ticket. Yes. Second one. Chanuti. Chanuti. Second one. Chanuti is not here. Asadi. Oh, Kare na the katiya. Teacher man, guess what? Class se kadi. Oh yeah, Hasadi was absent. Navajana, second one. He hasn't made stamp anything. He hasn't made M A D E. He hasn't made some sandwiches. Third one, Netmi. He has cleaned the tent. He has cleaned the tent. Fourth one, Rivit. He he hasn't bought a map. He hasn't bought a map. Very good. Next one, Sarasi. He has washed my clothes. He has washed my clothes. Maggie and Dunda may my kid away. Nay, again, come the kidney. He has washed his clothes. 
Next one, Shihani. He has invited Maria. He has invited Maria. Last one, Pamudi. He hasn't found a cooking pot. He hasn't found a cooking pot. Very good. Next one, write questions and sentences with the present perfect. You drive car. Have you ever driven a car? Or you can say, have you driven a car too? Second one, um, Ruvit. I have never eaten sushi. I have never eaten sushi. Correct. Third one, Gagani. My best friend has read lots of books. My best friend has read lots of books. Fourth one, Akil. My brother has eaten, E A T E N. My brother has eaten too much chocolate. Fifth one, Naduni. They have ever got, gone to Spain? No, it's a question. You can't start with they. It's a question. Have they ever gone to Spain? Very good. Have they ever gone to Spain? Or you can use, have they ever been to Spain? Last one, Navanjana. My dad has bought a new car. My dad has bought a new car. Very good. Read the sentences, then write advice using should or shouldn't. Okay. So I, I hurt my foot when I was jumping off my desk. The advice is you shouldn't jump off your desk. Second one. Danny is great at football, but he doesn't practice very often. Let me give you advice. Let me. She's not here. Rivit, can you give the advice? Then should practice every day. You should practice every day. Uh, the best answer is Danny should or sh uh, he should. Kiele namana. Moka the ay neve di lapieni. He should practice every day or he should practice more often. Third one, I want to finish this book, but I'm tired and my eyes hurt. Uh, Pamudi, what's your advice? You should get rest. Get rest. You should get some rest. You should go to sleep. You should stop reading for a while. Fourth one. These shoes are too small and they hurt my feet. Shehani? You should pick up a little big shoes. Yes, you should pick up a, a big shoes. Mm. Or you can say, you should change your shoes. Eva Givunath Kamakne. Fifth one. Using a tablet gives me a headache. Um, Chehani. You shouldn't use tablet. You shouldn't use the tablet. Yes. Last one. Steve doesn't like vegetable soup. Naduni. Naduni. Nadhuni is not here. Uh, Gagani?
He should eat vegetable. He should have vegetable soup. Yes. Fifth one. Now, it's agal me tikhi agne ang. Put the letters in the correct order to make vehicles. First one is taxi. Second one. Bus. Bus. Third. Boat. Boat. Fourth. Plane. 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 Fifth. Tram. Ah, uh, tram. Sixth. Scooter. Scooter. Seventh. Helicopter. Helicopter. Eighth. Motorbike. Motorbike. Okay. Sixth one. Choose the correct option A, B, or C. Have you ever ridden a scooter? Second one. We drove to France, flew to France, rode to France in our old car. We car ke ki hindi ani mukadde. What is the verb? Drove. We drove. We drove to France in our old car. Third one. Driving a plane is really difficult. Flying a plane, riding a plane. Flying a plane. Flying a plane. Yes. Fourth one. I'm learning to fly a bike, drive a bike, ride a bike. Ride a bike. Ride a bike. Fifth one. Uncle Martin flew a hel helicopter, drove a helicopter, rode a helicopter. Flew. Flew. Flew a helicopter. The only vehicle that hasn't flown is a fire engine, driven or ridden. Which one? Driven. Driven. Correct. Now, take out your trainer books. Take out your trainer books, children. And tell me, what is the last page you have done with Miss Jaini. I think it's page number 35, is it? Check and tell me. Last uh, page you have done in trainer book. What is the last, last page? Kota Gal can you call Chehani? How do you it? This book, I'm talking about this book. Do you have this book? 33. 33. Sure, no? 35. 35. Kill them, I miss it, my Tell me if you have done this part. Have you done till this page? Thirty five, the Nathan thirty three. The. May I call the name? Page number thirty-three. New Music Club. Who is it? Auntie, may I call the name? Thirty-five. Can I cut the ear? Raise hand on current tagger. Auntie, may I call the name? Thirty-five. Can I cut the ear?
So it's 35, I guess. Okay. So till here, we are done. Now we need to come to this part. Okay. See, listening part four. In this part, you read five questions. You listen to one person talking or a conversation and choose the correct answer. Okay. Now there is a vocabulary part here. Things you do. Write the words in the co correct column. What are the columns? Things you eat. Things you wear. Things you play. Things you read. Let's discuss the words first. Bracelet means? What's bracelet? Bracelet can you the? Yes. We have gold, golden bracelets. Huh? Some people have diamond bracelets, these kind of things. Sausages, you know, sausages. Abhi Mangdani Singhaling Vachanyan hai. Sausages, swear to. Cricket, the game. Newspapers, patara. The drums. Drum, what can you call them? Ah, drums, can you call them, boys? Sangeeta Bandha. Sangeeta Bandha, drum, what can you call them? Mushrooms? Hattu. Ah? Hattu. Bimal Kilat Kino. Video games? Video games. Ekat Dandamani? Selankaran or Pelamai then computers will inform Selinkaran. Magazines? Sangara. Sports kit? Uh, sports Karan. Krida Karana Dina Doom Cutteleer. Perfume. Perfume Kiana Pisaman Vachinikiran and Saint Kienek. Suman the Villa. Fish malu web page can a uh, internet well in a web page a rock pituak tights on the other tights can a shorts wagadia hockey creed avak biscuit danava comic can a uh, what do we call any anybody comic. Hasia Tiro Vihilu Katatian, Potin, and never the comics can. Tagal may may watch and take a down, but I make columns to make categories well to them. And when you are done, raise your hand. Then it may be very young, it come up there, raise hand on current.
okay bracelet okay just tell me things you eat what are the things you eat equipment can i keep can sausages mushroom fish biscuit sausage mushrooms fish biscuit things you wear Sporty. Things you wear, bracelet is given. Then, sport kit, sports kit. Tights. Tights. Things you play. Cricket. The drums, video games. Cricket. Things you play. Cricket. The drums, video games. uh hockey things you read newspapers magazines magazine web page web page comic we forgot one thing perfume perfume mokada karanne api we wear we wear we wear perfume children you have to write perfume under things you wear category okay now complete the sentences with some of the words from exercise 1 karan varan meka you have to use the words from this exercise 1 put them in quickly and when you are done raise your hand
Yeah. First one. I like to have a blank with my cup of tea. What is the answer? Biscuit. Biscuit. I like to have a biscuit with my cup of tea. Second one. My parents gave me a gold bracelet, bracelet for my birthday. Now, most people go online to read the news. Not many people buy newspapers. newspapers. Fourth one, you can play on grass or on nice. You can play okay. hockey. Fifth one, we change into our sports kit, sports kit before we play football. Okay, now listen, are these words and phrases spelled correctly? If the spelling is right, put a tick. If it is wrong, put a cross. Okay, I will play the track. Listen carefully and see if they have spelled the word correctly. Training test one. Training test one. Can you hear? Yes, okay. Training test one. Listening part four. Exercise three. Listen. Are these words and phrases spelt correctly? If the spelling is right, put a tick. If it is wrong, put a cross. Example. My neighbour is called Mrs. Payne. How do you spell that? P-A-Y-N-E. One. I live at number 64 Brookdale Street. That's B-R-O-O-K-D-A-L-E. E. Two. The party is at the Penridge Room. That's Penridge, P E N R I D G E, room, R double O M. Three. What's the name of the town we're going to? Montclair. How do you spell that? M-O-N-T-C-L-A-I-R. Four. The person meeting you at the airport is Simone Jordan. Her first name is spelt S I M O N E, and her surname is J O R D A N. Five. Our website is www.torcelon.com. That's www dot t o u r c e y l 
o n dot com. Okay, playing it for the second time. Training test one, listening part four, exercise three. Listen. Are these words and phrases spelt correctly? If the spelling is right, put a tick. If it is wrong, put a cross. Example. My neighbour is called Mrs. Payne. How do you spell that? P A Y N E. One. I live at number sixty-four Brookdale Street. That's B R double O K D A L E. Two. The party is at the Penridge Room. That's Penridge. P E N R I D G E room R double O M three. What's the name of the town we're going to? Montclair. How do you spell that? M O N T C L. A I R. Four. The person meeting you at the airport is Simone Jordan. Her first name is spelt S I M O N E, and her surname is J O R D A N. Five. Our website is www. torcelon. com. That's www. t o u r c e y l o n. dot com. On the answers. Training test one, listening part four, exercise three. Listen. Are these words and phrases spelt correctly? If the spelling is right, put a tick. If it is wrong, put a cross. Example. My neighbour is called Mrs. Payne. How do you spell that? P A Y N E. P A Y N E. Yes, it is written like that, so it's correct. One. I live at number sixty-four Brookdale Street. That's B R double O K A B R double O K D A L E D A L E. Is the spelling correct or not? Correct. Correct. Tick. Two. The party is at the Penridge Room. That's Penridge, P E N, P E N R I D G E. R I D G E. Is the spelling correct or not? Correct. Correct. Tick.
Room. R double O M. Three. What's the name of the town we're going to? Montclair. How do you spell that? M O N. M O N. T C L. T C L. A I R. A I R. Is the spelling correct? No. Is the spelling cor correct? Incorrect. Incorrect. E is written here, but there is no E for Montclair. M O N T C L A I R is the spelling for Montclair. Wrong. Cross. Fourth one. Four. The person meeting you at the airport is Simone Jordan. Her first name is spelt S. I M O S I M O N E N E and her surname is J O R J O R D A N D A N is the spelling correct 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 tick Five. Our website is www.torsalon.com. That's www.torsalon.com. Dot com. Is the spelling correct? No. No. It should be C here, not S. So incorrect. Cross. Now, let's come to this part. Listen and write the date you hear. You will hear some dates. Okay? Listen and write the date you hear. See, so remember, when you hear ordinal numbers in details, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 13th, 22nd, etc. You don't have to write them like this. You can just write the number and the month. See, do not waste your time writing these uh, numbers in letters. Okay. If you're here 4th November, you can write 4 in number. Then TH November in letters. Okay. Let's listen and write. Training, test one, listening, part four. Exercise four, listen and write the date you hear. Example. So when is the party? It's in two weeks time, on January the 13th. One. When did you buy your phone? At the end of August. The 29th of August, I think. Two. When's your birthday? It's the 3rd of July. Three. What date is the exam? Sometime in the middle of May. Let me check. Yes, it's the 14th. Four. So, when did you get back from holiday? About a week ago. Yes, it was September the 30th. Five. When does our new class start? In the new year, the 5th of February. 
playing it for the second time. Training, test one. Listening, part four. Exercise four. Listen and write the date you hear. Example. So when is the party? It's in two weeks' time, on January the 13th. One. When did you buy your phone? At the end of August. The 29th of August, I think. Two. When's your birthday? It's the 3rd of July. Three. What date is the exam? Sometime in the middle of May. Let me check. Yes, it's the 14th. Four. So, when did you get back from holiday? About a week ago. Yes, it was September the 30th. Five. When does our new class start? In the new year, the 5th of February. Okay. Training, test one. Listening, part four. Exercise four. Listen and write the date you hear. Example. So when is the party? It's in two weeks' time, on January the 13th. January the 13th. So, date of the party is January 13th. Number one, date the phone was bought. One. When did you buy your phone? At the end of August. The 29th of August, I think. When is the date? When is the date? 29th of August. 29th of August, you can write. August 29th also. August 29th. His birthday. Two. When's your birthday? It's the 3rd of July. Mm, when? 3rd of July. 3rd of July, July 3rd, or July 3. 3. What date is the exam? Sometime in the middle of May. Let me check. Yes, it's the 14th. Hmm. When? What is the date? Huh? May 14th. July 14th. Four. So, when did you get back from holiday? About a week ago. Yes, it was September the 30th. September 30th. Date of return from holiday? September the 30th. So, you can write September 30th. Five. 
When does our new class start? In the new year, the 5th of February. The 5th of February, February 5. New class starts. Let's do the exam practice. Test one, listening part four. This page, come to page number 37. Okay. I will share the soundtrack with you. Exam practice, listening part four. Can you hear that, children? Yes, Do you all hear the soundtrack? Yes, no. Can't you all speak? Yes, teacher. Yes, no? Okay. Exam practice test one. Listening part four. Now look at part four. For each question, choose the correct answer. Sixteen. You will hear two friends talking about shopping. What did the boy buy yesterday? I'm glad I got the school book I wanted yesterday. Yes, my mum had already bought that and a new magazine for me. Everyone thinks the gloves I got yesterday are cool too. The t-shirt I liked was really colourful. But nearly £100. I know. Let's buy some snacks now. We can eat them during break at school. Now listen again. I'm glad I got the school book I wanted yesterday. Yes, my mum had already bought that and a new magazine for me. Everyone thinks the gloves I got yesterday are cool too. The t-shirt I liked was really colourful. But nearly £100. I know. Let's buy some snacks now. We can eat them during break at school. Seventeen. You will hear a teacher talking to a student called Lynn. Why didn't Lynn come to school yesterday? Mr Jones, could I ask you about the tennis match on Saturday? Of course, Lynn. You missed class yesterday. Do you feel better? Oh, I wasn't ill. We were camping in Switzerland for a week and our flight was cancelled on Sunday. We flew on Monday instead. Oh, OK. So next Saturday is really important. If we win, we'll win the championship. Now listen again. Mr Jones, could I ask you about the tennis match on Saturday? Of course, Lynn. You missed class yesterday. Do you feel better? Oh, I wasn't ill. We were camping in Switzerland for a week and our flight was cancelled on Sunday. We flew on Monday instead. Oh, OK. So next Saturday is really important. If we win, we'll win the championship. Eighteen. You will hear a boy talking about surfing. How did he learn to surf? When I started surfing, I went to the beach with friends and tried and tried, but I didn't seem to improve. Then I saw that someone was organising lessons, but they were on Fridays when I play football. In the end, I found a website with a famous surfer showing people the best way to learn. That's what helped me. Now 
Now listen again. When I started surfing, I went to the beach with friends and tried and tried, but I didn't seem to improve. Then I saw that someone was organising lessons, but they were on Fridays when I play football. In the end, I found a website with a famous surfer showing people the best way to learn. That's what helped me. Nineteen. You will hear a girl talking about her day at school. Which subject did she like best? School was great today. First, we had a lesson about oceans and the average water temperature in each one. But the most interesting lesson was about bees, how they live together, and how they develop from eggs to adults. In another lesson, we read part of a novel, and for homework, we can write either a story or an article. Now listen again. School was great today. First, we had a lesson about oceans and the average water temperature in each one. But the most interesting lesson was about bees, how they live together, and how they develop from eggs to adults. In another lesson, we read part of a novel, and for homework, we can write either a story or an article. Twenty. You will hear two brothers talking about last night. Why did they both sleep badly? I'm tired this morning. I didn't sleep well. Neither did I. Let's ask Dad to turn down the heating in our room. Yes, that was the problem. I can hear him outside. I think he's packing the car so that we are ready to go camping. I can hear Mum playing music downstairs. Let's ask her about the heating. Yeah. Now listen again. I'm tired this morning. I didn't sleep well. Neither did I. Let's ask Dad to turn down the heating in our room. Yes, that was the problem. I can hear him outside. I think he's packing the car so that we are ready to go camping. I can hear Mum playing music downstairs. Let's ask her about the heating. Yeah. That is the end of part four. Let's check the answers. Exam practice test one, listening part four. Now look at part four. For each question, choose the correct answer. Sixteen. You will hear two friends talking about shopping. What did the boy buy yesterday? I'm glad I got the school book I wanted yesterday. You will hear two friends talking about shopping. What did the boy buy yesterday? What did the boy? Okay, not the girl. Yes, my mum had already bought that in a new magazine for me. Everyone thinks the gloves I got yesterday are cool too. The T-shirt I liked was really colourful. But nearly one hundred pounds. I know. Let's buy some snacks now. We can eat them during break at school. I didn't catch the answer. Wait. Now listen again. I'm glad I got the school book I wanted yesterday. Yes, my mum had already bought that in a new magazine for me. Okay, now the book she bought was already bought by this boy's mother. Everyone thinks the gloves I got yesterday are cool too.、Mm. He's got gloves. 
Gloves mean something to wear, to eat or read. Something to wear. Something to wear. So he's got gloves yesterday and people think it's cool. Answer is A. The t-shirt I liked was really colourful. But nearly 100 pounds. I know. Let's buy some snacks now. We can eat them during break at school. Seventeen. You will hear a teacher talking to a student called Lynn. Why didn't Lynn come to school yesterday? Why didn't Lynn come to school yesterday? Okay. Mr Jones, could I ask you about the tennis match on Saturday? Of course, Lynn. You missed class yesterday. Do you feel better? Oh, I wasn't ill. We were camping in Switzerland for a week. So she wasn't ill, but she was camping in Switzerland for a week. And our flight was cancelled on Sunday. And the flight was cancelled on Sunday. We flew on Monday instead. We flew on Monday instead. Oh, okay. So that's why she was absent. What is the answer? She arrived back late from holiday. So next Saturday is really important. If we win, we'll win the championship. Next Saturday is important, not yesterday. We are we are talking about here. You can see why didn't Lynn come to school yesterday? So the answer is already there. She she arrived back late from holiday. Answer C. Now listen again. Mr. Jones, could I ask you about the tennis match on Saturday? Of course, Lynn. You missed class yesterday. Do you feel better? Oh, I wasn't ill. We were camping in Switzerland for a week, and our flight was cancelled on Sunday. We flew on Monday instead. Oh, OK. So next Saturday is really important. If we win, we'll win the championship. Give me a second, children. Eighteen. You will hear a boy talking about surfing. How did he learn to surf? How did he learn to surf? When I started surfing, I went to the beach with friends and tried and tried, but I didn't seem to improve. When he first started surfing, wanted to surf, he went to the beach with his friends and tried but nothing was uh, learned. Then I saw that someone was organising lessons, but they were on Fridays when I play football. Then he saw that someone was doing some lessons, but it was on Friday, but he had some other lessons. In the end, I found a website with a famous surfer showing people the best way to learn. At the end, what did he find? He found a website where everyone talks about surfing that's what helped me so what is the answer by doing a course by watching videos by practicing by himself what is the answer coco what is the answer answer b answer is b good Now listen again. When I started surfing, I went to the beach with friends and tried and tried, but I didn't seem to improve. Then I saw that someone was organising lessons, but they were on Fridays when I play football. In the end, I found a website with a famous surfer showing people the best way to learn. That's what helped me.
Nineteen. You will hear a girl talking about her day at school. Which subject did she like best? Which subject did she like best? That means that means her favorite subject. School was great today. First, we had a lesson about oceans and the average water temperature in each one. But the most interesting lesson was about bees. How the most important lesson was about bees. They live together and how they develop from eggs to adults. In another lesson, we read part of a novel, and for homework, we can write either a story or an article. Most interesting one was about what bees. That means geography or biology. Which one is the answer? Hmm. What is the answer? Listen again. Now listen again. School was great today. First, we had a lesson about oceans. First, we had a lesson about oceans. That means geography. And the average water temperature in each one. But the most interesting lesson was about bees. But the most important lesson was about bees. Bees can you call them? What are bees? Memes. Memes. So, it would be mona part of again the kiani. Biology. Biology. Answer is biology. How they live together and how they develop from eggs to adults. In another lesson, we read part of a novel, and for homework, we can write either a story or an article. Twenty. You will hear two brothers talking about last night. Why did they both sleep badly? Why did they both sleep badly? Let's see. I'm tired this morning. I didn't sleep well. Neither did I. Let's ask Dad to turn down the heating in our room. Yes, that was the problem. Let's ask Dad to slow down the heating. Right? Adu karan ne kela kiya ne? Heating adu karan ne kiya ne? Mokha dayar the bilakhi ne prashne? Heating adu karan ne kiya ne? Yes, heating was hot. Yes, heating was hot. Yes, heating was hot. Ah, too hot, the too cold. I can hear him outside. I think he's packing the car so that we are ready to go camping. I can hear Mum playing music downstairs. Let's ask her about the heating. Yeah. The bedroom was hot. Answer is A. All answers are correct. Raise your hand. If you got all the answers correct, all the answers correct, raise your hand. Only five students. Very good. Let's come to the listening part five. In this part, you read two lists of information. You listen to a conversation and match the two lists of information. Now there is a vocabulary part about jobs. Match the jobs with their description. Okay, Chaniti wants the correct answer of second question here. Second means seventeenth question, right? She arrived back late from holiday. C. Now, vocabulary, jobs, match the jobs with their descriptions. Example, grows food, farmer. Writes for a newspaper. What is the profession? Writes for a newspaper. Journalist. Journalist. Tagala match karan balan. Kala raise hand on karan.
Okay. Looks after sick people. What is the profession? Nurse. Nurse. Tells people what to do at work. Manage it. Manager. Prepares cars. Mechanic. Huh? Mechanics. Mechanic. Sorry, mechanic. Looks after people's teeth. Dentist. 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 Builds or looks after machines. Engineers. Builds or looks after machines. Engineer. Engineer. Meets people when they first come to an office. Reception. Receptionist. Receptionist. Now. Listen and choose the best job for each person. Use some of the words from exercise one. From these professions, you can find the answers for this one. Okay? You can you, you have to listen to the track and find the answers from these ones. Okay? I will play the track. Training test one, listening part five, exercise two. Listen and choose the best job for each person. Use some of the words from exercise one. Example. Paul gets up early and likes to be outside. He doesn't like towns and cities. One. Raquel is good at English. She always wants to know what is happening in the world. Two. Adriana loves science and maths. She has great ideas and is good at making things. Three. Adam likes helping people. He prefers to work at night. Playing it for the second time. Training test one, listening part five, exercise two. Listen and choose the best job for each person. Use some of the words from exercise one. Example. Paul gets up early and likes to be outside. He doesn't like towns and cities. One. Raquel is good at English. She always wants to know what is happening in the world. Two. Adriana loves science and maths. She has great ideas and is good at making things. Three. Adam likes helping people. He prefers to work at night. Okay, let's see. Training test one, listening part five, exercise two. Listen and choose the best job for each person. Use some of the words from exercise one. Example. Paul gets up early and likes to be outside. He doesn't like towns and cities. Two. 
One. Raquel is good at English. Raquel is good at English. She always wants to know what is happening in the world. She always wants to know what is happening in the world. So, what is the appropriate job for her? Reporter. You need to find the answer from these words. Journalist. Journalist. Journalist is the answer. Two. Adriana loves science and maths. She loves science and maths. She has great ideas. She has great ideas. And is good at making things. And is good at making things. What is her job? Engineer. Engineer. Three. Adam likes helping people. Adam likes helping people. He prefers to work at night. He prefers to work at night. What is the job? Nurse. Nurse. Good. Now come to this spelling days and months. Cross out the wrong spelling. Now you can see the example June. J O N K L L D N E D N E. So you have to cross out the wrong spelling. First one I will help you. March. Which one is incorrect one? What is the word with wrong spelling? First one or second one? Second one. Second one. So you have to cross out this one. Lower your hands. Then when you are done, raise your hand again. Huh? Second one. May. Which one is incorrect? First or second one? Second one. Second one is correct. I'm asking which one is incorrect. First, First one. So you have to cross out this one. Third one. Cross out Karanathiana word. Dega ki anamata. November. First one, mean make a my cross out karani. Make a cross out karani. After karana the any cross out karan. Fourth one. Second. Second. This one is wrong. Fifth one. First. First one is wrong. Cross out. Sixth. Second. Second. This one is wrong. Seventh. Second. Second one is wrong. Eighth. First one. First one is wrong. Ninth. First one. First one is wrong. Tenth. Second one. Second one is wrong. Eleventh. First one is wrong. 
Now, listen and write the correct day. Okay, I will play the track. Training, test one. Listening, part five. Exercise four. Listen and write the correct day. Example. Don't forget Jenny's birthday is on Wednesday. We're going to meet on Tuesday afternoon to go shopping for a card and present for her. One. OK, now, students who come to class on Mondays, you will have your speaking test on Saturday and not Sunday like the other students. Two. If you want to come on the school trip to the zoo next Friday, you need to bring the money in by Tuesday and give it to Mr Wilson. Three. We will have football practice on Monday, Tuesday and Thursday next week because Sunday's match is a really important one. Four. I am so excited about the concert. This time next week, we'll be there. Oh no, I mean a week from tomorrow. We have tickets for Tuesday, not Monday. Five. We have a welcome party for all new students on Thursday evening. Please give your name to Ruth by Wednesday if you want to come. Playing it for the second time. Training, test one. Listening, part five. Exercise four. Listen and write the correct day. Example. Don't forget Jenny's birthday is on Wednesday. We're going to meet on Tuesday afternoon to go shopping for a card and present for her. One. OK, now, students who come to class on Mondays, you will have your speaking test on Saturday and not Sunday like the other students. Two. If you want to come on the school trip to the zoo next Friday, you need to bring the money in by Tuesday and give it to Mr. Wilson. Three. We will have football practice on Monday, Tuesday and Thursday next week because Sunday's match is a really important one. Four. I am so excited about the concert. This time next week, we'll be there. Oh no, I mean a week from tomorrow. We have tickets for Tuesday, not Monday. Five. We have a welcome party for all new students on Thursday evening. Please give your name to Ruth by Wednesday if you want to come. Okay, let's find the answers. Training, test one. Listening, part five. Exercise four. Listen and write the correct day. Example. Don't forget Jenny's birthday is on Wednesday. We're going to meet on Tuesday afternoon to go shopping for a card and present for her. 
One. Okay, now, students who come to class on Mondays. The speaking test is on. You will have your speaking test on Saturday. The speaking test is on when? Saturday. On Saturday. And not Sunday like the other students. Not Sunday. It's on Saturday. The trip to the zoo is on. Two. If you want to come on the school trip to the zoo next Friday, you need to bring the money in by Tuesday and give it to Mr. Wilson. Hmm. The trip to the zoo is on Friday. If you go there, you have to give your money on Tuesday. The answer is Friday. Third one, the football match is on. Three. We will have football practice on Monday, Tuesday and Thursday next week. These days are for practice. The question is football match is on. Because Sunday's match is a really important one. Sunday's match. So the football match is on? When? Sunday. Sunday. The concert is on. Four. I am so excited about the concert. This time next week, we'll be there. Oh no, I mean a week from tomorrow. We have tickets for Tuesday, not Monday. We have tickets for Tuesday. So the concert is on Tuesday. The party is on. Five. We have a welcome party for all new students on Thursday evening. Please give your name to Ruth by Wednesday if you want to come. When is the party? The party is on? Thursday. Thursday. You have to give your names by Wednesday. Wednesday will to call in Namde. No. All answers correct? Raise your hand. All answers. Very good. Now, as the last part of our day today, let's do this listening part five. Okay, for each question, choose the correct answer. I will play the track. Exam practice test one, listening part five. Now look at part five. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at questions 21 to 25 now. You have 15 seconds. Mum, we talked about different jobs in class today. And I'm surprised about the jobs some of my friends want to do. What do you want to do? You know I love planes, so I'd like to fly them for my job. Great idea. What job does Tyler want to do? He wants to work at the hospital. His mum's a receptionist there, but he wants to take care of people's teeth. That's a good job. Ava wants to be a sports coach, doesn't she? Not now. She wants to show tourists around different towns. Oh. And Mark? He's always helping his dad repair cars. Remember, his dad's got a garage. And that's what he wants to do. He'll be good at that. Does Victoria know what she wants to do? Yes, to write articles for a newspaper. She wrote a good story about an actor for English last week. Great. What about Bobby? He wants to be in plays and work in theatres all over the world. He was good in the school play about a hospital.
Now listen again. Mum, we talked about different jobs in class today, and I'm surprised about the jobs some of my friends want to do. What do you want to do? You know I love planes, so I'd like to fly them for my job. Great idea. What job does Tyler want to do? He wants to work at the hospital. His mum's a receptionist there, but he wants to take care of people's teeth. That's a good job. Ava wants to be a sports coach, doesn't she? Not now. She wants to show tourists round different towns. Oh, and Mark? He's always helping his dad repair cars. Remember, his dad's got a garage, and that's what he wants to do. He'll be good at that. Does Victoria know what she wants to do? Yes, to write articles for a newspaper. She wrote a good story about an actor for English last week. Great. What about Bobby? He wants to be in plays and work in theatres all over the world. He was good in the school play about a hospital. That is the end of part five. You now have six minutes to write your answers on the answer sheet. Okay, let's find the answers now. Exam practice test one, listening part five. Now look at part five. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at questions 21 to 25 now. You have 15 seconds. Mum, we talked about different jobs in class today. We talked about different jobs today. And I'm surprised about the jobs some of my friends want to do. What do you want to do? You know I love planes, so I'd like to fly them for my job. OK, who is flying planes? What is that job? Pilot. Pilot. So it's there, F, for Lucas. Great idea. What job does Tyler want to do? OK, now we are talking about Tyler. He wants to work at the hospital. He wants to work at the hospital. His mum's a receptionist there, but... His mum is a receptionist, but... He wants to take care of people's teeth. He wants to take care of people's teeth. Who is that person? Dentist. Dentist. So in front of Tyler, which letter do you have to write? T. C. That's a good job. Ava wants to be a sports coach, doesn't she? Ava wants to be a coach. Not now. Not now. She wants to show tourists around different towns. Mm, she wants to show tourists different places in the town. Give me a second, children.
Okay, let's continue. Oh. So she wants to show tourists other places in the city. Who is this person? Who is this job? What is this job? Tour guide. Tour guide. So in front of Eva, we have to write H. And Mark? He's all Mark. Always helping his dad repair cars. Repair cars. Who is the person? Mechanic. Mechanic. E. Remember, his dad's got a garage. And that's what he wants to do. He'll be good at that. Does Victoria know what she wants to do? Victoria? Yes, to write articles for a newspaper. Write articles for a newspaper. Who is that person? Journalist. Journalist. So, D. D is the answer for Victoria. She wrote a good story about an actor for English last week. Great. What about Bobby? He wants to be in plays and work in theatres all over the world. Okay, he wants to be in... Bobby wants to stay, uh, be in plays. What is the person? Who is the person? Actor. Actor. Answer A. Who got the all answers correct? All answers correct. Very good. Okay, so did you understand the lessons we did today? Any doubts? If you have any doubts, you can ask for the video. Okay, all the videos are uploaded to the uh, uh, portal. So you can ask for the link from the office. You can refer to that video. You can watch that video again. If you have, if you still have problems, you can ask me in the next week. Okay, children. So let's wind up the session for today. We'll meet uh, day after tomorrow again, right? And in that I have been on the other day. Yeah. Let's meet on Wednesday. Until then, goodbye. Have a nice day and stay safe. Thank you, teacher. Goodbye, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Goodbye, thank you, thank you.